Hi, this is Mr. Roman, and I'm going to do a walkthrough for the instructions for lab number nine, which is our uh, enzyme simulation lab. When you open the lab in Schoology, uh, read the introduction, uh, then you will find the link to the simulation. And as you're going through the simulation, you will be answering some general questions about enzymes, and then you will collect data. You will need to make a data table to collect data. It will be very similar to this data table, um, but you can see that uh, this data table does not have any headings. Um, so you will need to figure out how you're going to make changes to this data table. And then um, after you collect the data, you're going to graph the data. Uh, you'll have all of this data table in one graph, and then you'll upload it here. Then you'll be writing um, a conclusion or the results and discussion and conclusion for the data that you collected. Uh, you will describe how changing substrate concentration affected the enzyme rate of reaction. Then you will describe how pH had an impact on the reaction rate of the enzyme. So we will click on the link that will take us to the simulation. I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit because um, this is a very noisy online lab. So when you get to this page, uh, you'll click on the television and it will play a short video about enzymes and you do need to answer some questions from that short video in Schoology. Then you are ready to collect data. If you click on the computer screen, it will give you a table for the experiment that you run and it will tell you how many molecules of product form permitted uh, and that value is how we're going to determine the rate of reaction uh, this will be the initial rate of reaction and these numbers you'll need to put into your data table you will perform enough experiments so that you have data for every combination of substrate concentration and pH. The substance uh, is already here for you. The substrate is already here for you. Uh, and it is on these little pieces of um, weighing paper. So if you pick up the weighing paper, you can add the sample to the test tubes. The test tubes all already have the enzyme present and the concentration of the enzyme is constant. So you would put these numbers in the correct place in your data table. Uh, notice that all these values uh, correspond to pH 7. After you've written these numbers down, you'll hit the reset button. Then you can perform the experiment again at a different pH. Click on the computer screen and add the samples to the test tubes. And then you'll notice that the data table gives you the number of molecules uh, produced per minute. Once again, you'll write these down into your data table. After you have collected uh, the results for each of the experiments and your data table is full, then you'll go back to Schoology 
you will um, upload a picture of your data table with headings and units. And then you will upload a picture of your graph that you draw. The criteria for the graph are here for you as a reminder and you'll upload that here. Then using your data and your your data table and your graph, you will write uh, results describing the effect um, of the substrate concentration and the pH on the rate of reaction. If you have any questions or need any help, just let me know.